will it overheat? We're going to find out. The Canon R6 does it overheat shooting 4K. I've just wiped the card, so we've got 64 gigabyte. Hopefully that will be enough because it did stop recording just. And um, well, we're going to do it again. So it's been cooling down again for another couple of hours. So it's cold, fresh card, 4K, uh, recording one hundredth of a second shutter speed, for F4, ISO 1600. Going to leave the screen on. Uh, 4K, 25 frames per second IPB. Will the Canon R6 overheat? We can only find out. We can test it. This is just a simple video to test if it will overheat. So, I've got some editing to do. I'm halfway through a video. I'm going to carry on doing that. I'm just going to leave the camera running. I'm timing it on my Apple Watch. And I started it just as I started recording this video. So, this is just a test. Will the Canon R6 overheat in 4K? Hopefully not. We'll find out. And if it does, how long does it take? This is the updated firmware as well. It's 1.1.1. Um, so I've updated the firmware this morning. So it's a new firmware. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm going to get to work. And I'll see you, hopefully, in quite a long time. I'm going to fast forward this, obviously. So see you in a bit. Twenty-one minutes. No overheating warning yet. Nothing. I, I didn't plug the microphone in either, so this is just a standard microphone from the camera. Um, yeah, battery's gone down one. Twenty-two minutes. No warning. I'm gonna crack on. So it did stop. It stopped on 30 minutes. It's 30 minute record time. Can you turn that off? I'm not sure if you can. I'll have to double check that in the settings. Uh, we need some light on the situation. The battery's down to half. It did stop on 30 minutes. The camera is, you know, it's not as hot as your, your phone would get, but the camera itself is noticeably warm on the grip um, so it's obviously heating up a little bit it is shooting 4k but that's half an hour um, plus a minute so it's done 31 minutes of recording so far still not saying there's an overheat warning um, but we'll see see how we go leave it again I've got a feeling the card might fill up before the actual camera might overheat but we'll see anyway I'll leave you to it Right, so it's been 51 minutes and there's still no warning of an overheating. Um, the battery is down to one bar and the card is no doubt um, filling up. The actual camera itself, it, you know, again it's warm, like your phone would get warm if you'd, if you'd use it for an hour. <laughs> but it's not like burning your hand, you can still hold it. it some people have been commenting in the comments saying careful you don't get injured it will burn you but it's not going to burn you so i've been recording for like so 52 minutes and 27 seconds is how long i've been recording and still no warning the battery is going to die before the camera does the the camera overheats so you know i don't know what to tell you um shall i just let it 
keep going until the battery dies yeah but I don't think the camera itself is going to overheat with this new firmware in realistic normal usage um, again that uh, the video I did the other day I'll link it up here um, testing the C log out in 120 frames per second I recorded for 40 minutes half an hour 40 minutes or 120 frames per second HD and I didn't have any overheating issues then either so does the Canon overheat maybe at some point but before you do get to that point the battery's gonna die you're gonna run out of storage um, I'm not really worried about it. It's not really a problem. Um, so all this stuff about cameras overheating, then maybe the firmware has done it. This we're in my studio, which is my garage, and it's normal temperature. It's not cold. It's not warm in here, so it's ambient temperature, I suppose. Um, I've sat in here for the last hour, and just nice and comfortable, no heating or anything. So I don't see any problems with it. And for my usage anyway, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to carry on enjoying using this amazing camera which has got all the things that I wanted in the camera so there we go that's my conclusion we'll let it run to see if anything else happens but in the meantime guys thanks for watching hope this helped and uh, go and buy the R6 the R5 may be different because it's more powerful but for me the R6 is the camera I've been waiting for simple as that So I had another message, the battery is flashing by the way, the battery is dead, it's going to die in a little bit. I had another message flash up saying maximum record time is has been reached, uh, so that's an hour and two minutes. And I've just had an overheating warning come up, so battery dead, overheating warning now, um, an hour and two minutes into recording, and apart from that there's been no problems. So for, for Okay, now the overheating warning's gone off, and it's carrying on recording. Now the overheating warning's come back on. Okay, so the temperature, still not overly warm to the touch, but the battery's about to die. The overheating warning has come on at an hour and two minutes. Um, so, yeah, the battery's going to die before it overheats, is the conclusion of this test. So that's it. As far as I'm concerned, it's fine. Thank you.